Good morning. Today I am going to discuss about another topic that is natural resources of your unit 17 belongs to your course Foundation of Science and Technology. This unit covers introduction different types of natural resources what are the different forms of energy which can be used as non-conventional renewable resources and what are the methods of exploration of natural resources <coughs> first in introduction natural resources uh, can be defined as the resources which can be obtained from nature to fulfill our basic needs okay and resources are the material which is a part of art and satisfy human needs and aid below this causes resources for example rocks minerals soils rivers plants and animals Uh, so, what are the types of natural resources? Natural resources can be divided into two types renewable resources and non renewable resources. Renewable resource is that resource which can be used repeatedly and, and replenished naturally over a, over a short period of time. Those are sunlight water, forest, soils, and air. Non-renewable resources are the resources which can be obtained from nature and once they are consumed completely, it cannot be replenished by nature in a small period of time. It is not easy to Take the pace to keep up to keep up with regard to consumption. Those are non-renewable energy resources rather fossil fuels, coal, natural gas, and nuclear energy. Okay. Now uh, since we, the human beings, dependent on energy in our various needs. Starting from early, wake up from bed to going up to the bed at night. On every, every needs, every basic needs, we usually usually based on energy like electrical energy, mechanical energy, heat energy and so on. In earlier times uh, energy is energy used as a conventional way that is uh, we, we use well wood well wood for cooking. However, since science and technology has brought so much advancements in various perspectives, now energy can be used in a non conventional way. Those are in the form of solar energy, wind energy, wave and tidal energy, atomic energy. Biogas and geothermal energy. Now, what is solar energy? The energy which are obtained by burning of fuel, like coal, is in reality a solar energy. Generally, we know that plants make their food and grow because the sun, because they use sunlight for photosynthesis, and this is the way how solar energy 
can be trapped for heating water. This is the main hot air. Solar ray is coming and hair mirror has been put. This is the receiver and through the tower we can use solar energy for different purposes like steam turbine, steam turbine, electrical generator, cooling of tower and so on. Wind energy. Wind flow that which can be harnessed to obtain mechanical energy for fetching water from the wells are called wind energy. And wind energy in various parts of our country is used for obtaining electrical energy, electrical electricity. Uh, so, so this is a picture of windmill, which is used for fetching, uh, fetching the wind flow wind flow for obtain, obtaining mechanical energy. Now wave and tidal energy. Waves and tidal means related to sea. Sea water, which are another source of energy, which is artificial and can be converted into electrical energy, particularly where sea water can move into a narrow cut, which is provided naturally where rivers flow into the sea. A natural or artificial waterfall is made to turn a modem kind of radio, but then we call the turbine, which rotates and this electricity to be generated. Now, another form is atomic energy. To mitigate the problem of worldwide consumption of oil and petroleum food, which leads to first depletion of our non renewable resources, alternate means of energy is generally cultivated. Then, nowadays, Alternative fuels are generally practiced for removing the problem of depletion of water, oil, and petroleum fuel. Okay. So, what is the energy? What is the atomic energy? The energy of the atom had already been unleashed in the form of a boom. So, here efforts are made to release the atomic energy in a controlled manner. Through a device which is known as nuclear reactor. And this nuclear reactor generally produces heat, which is commonly used to raise stream, which rotates turbines and generators for electric power. Biogas, biogas energy are generally obtained from some forest products that is biomass then, uh, which are generally water which like water has been water lettuce alubinia hydrilia dark weeds algae this, these are the raw materials for production of biogas earlier a biogas was produced only for cow dung however uh, now it is this all the biomass are generally used for formation of biogas. Uh, so we know that biogas can be used not only as cooking gas, but it can also be used to raise stream, which can be used for running engines or machines in the factories or for running turbines to generate electricity. That means biogas are generally used for production of biodiesel. Now another form of energy geothermal energy. Geothermal energy are generally hot water and separated stream of hot springs which is a natural phenomenon and that can be used to generate electricity. Now what are the methods of exploration of resources? There are three types of methods of exploration of resources. Conventional methods, remote sensing and another method is using resource maps. Conventional methods are those methods which are generally used conventionally, like 
earlier these methods and the remote sensing methods here uh, the base has been used used to to track different to track the different object minerals oils and petroleum field another uh, types of resource uh, using resource maps this may be soil maps mineral maps hydrological maps snow cover maps and resource mapping okay uh, now after discussing all i am giving some assignments so what you understand by renewable and non-renewable resources what are the biggest resources which can be recovered from the ocean how is biogas helpful in meeting the energy crisis of people in rural areas what are the methods used for resource extension so with this i'm going to end off thank you